Hey Mobify devs, uh, just want to do this quick video to see if this feature I've been working on is something the community would be interested in. Uh, when I started working on LCD displays in Mobiflight, I found that I wanted padding on different values like the heading and indicated airspeed. So um, if it was 100 and over, I'd do something like this, dash, dash, dash. Um, and if it's between 10 and 100, I'd have to do 0 dash dash. And if it's uh, between 0 and 10, I'd have to do 0 0 dash. Um, because it would just trim, it wouldn't pad it, it would zeros. So I ended up doing all of these different conditions and LCD displays to accommodate for this. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have some other way of doing this? So um, I've been mucking around with this and I can cut all this configuration down to one. Um, I pull in the configs that I need, the IAS value, heading value, and whether or not they're dashes. And instead of having a simple display where I just type the values in there, I have it scripted. Um, so I can pull in my configuration values using this helper that's just pre-canned I just get the indicated airspeed from the at symbol here, which is configured there. And I say that if it's less than 10, I do 0, 0 at. If it's between 10 and 100, 0 at at. Otherwise, at at at. Uh, I do the same thing for heading. Um, so that saves a whole lot of uh, preconditions and stuff. If you know what you're doing, it's kind of an advanced feature, I guess. Uh, but. Um, you know, if I do something silly like leave off a semicolon off a line, it'll tell me the error, um, and you get the the full power of the C# -sharp compiler there. So we get the the line number, the com number, and the error. So it's pretty good, and I reckon it'll save a lot of people a lot of time if they know what they're doing. Um, what we're writing here is C# -sharp, it's compiled to C# -sharp. But um, I guess it could be extended to other languages. But uh, let me know what you think. Thanks.